Okay, so I've been debating with myself whether it would be of any help whatsoever for me to talk about hair care products on my channel because as we all know, I am not a hair professional, not really even that good at hair, but I do uh, have it. I have hair, it turns out. But after thinking about it, I realized that sometimes it can be helpful to listen to somebody who's, I don't know, just an average person as opposed to a professional in terms of whatever they're talking about because you know, somebody who is a hair care professional can make anything look good. Somebody who isn't, uh, not, not necessarily. So I thought I would go ahead and make a video about one of my favorite brands out there, which is Living Proof. If you're not familiar with this brand, their whole deal is they are a silicone-free brand, uh, sulfate-free, oil-free, just kind of a brand that nourishes your hair. I think that if you're not used to using these kinds of products that are free of those ingredients, I think it can kind of be a little jarring initially because silicones really make your hair look very smooth, but you can end up getting silicone buildup. There's a lot of reasons to not use them and also a lot of reasons to use them for very instant results. So the reason that I really like the Living Proof brand is that I feel like when I use these products, my hair actually gets better over time and to the point where I can quit using the products. That in itself to me really speaks on the integrity of a company. If you can buy a product and then quit using it because it did its job, that's something to praise. So what I'm gonna do in this video is take you through a whole bunch of products. All of these are products that I've bought or products that I've received as a gift for buying another product, but not in any way associated with Living Proof. And in fact, because this is not some kind of a sponsored video, if I think a brand does something a little better, I will tell you. But I just kinda wanna give a big brand overview and maybe if you're trying to find products that might suit a certain need, maybe I can help out there. I am going to divide this up into just kind of like shampoo conditioner products, uh, low and then a little, we'll, we'll touch on the high maintenance products. So a little bit of an overview before I jump in. This brand does have four different lines. They have the Restore line for repairing your hair, the full line for thickening hair, the no frizz line, obviously for defrizzing thick hair. And then what am I missing? Oh, Perfect Hair Day. The Perfect Hair Day line is just kind of the all encompassing line, but I think it has a strength too, and that is it extends the time between shampoos, at least that's my experience. And then they have a uh, black bottles line that is all of their styling products. My, my one gripe about this brand is that in some ways I think they're a little bit almost too inclusive, which sounds, no that sounds worse than I mean for it to, but a lot of times when you look up the product description and, and whose hair type this is for, pretty much every product will kind of sound like it could be for every hair type. I think the only exception is I do think they say the full line is not for thick hair. You'd think that's obvious though, right? But I do kind of think that some lines are obviously going to be more useful for certain hair types, and I, I do feel like that's one thing Living Proof doesn't necessarily distinguish too well. And in all fairness, maybe that's because you can use these products on all hair types, just doesn't mean you'll have the most optimal results. And one other thing before I get into this brand, if you are the type of person who really likes uh, fruity scents or floral scents, you might not like the smell of these products. They all smell very, not herbal, kind of vitamin-y? I don't know if that's making any sense. They have a particular smell to them and it's not a forced fragrance, it's definitely a more, this is a natural scent. Some people describe it as fresh and some people absolutely hate it. I like it, but I also, can genuinely stick my face in a bottle of vitamins and enjoy that smell, so just things to consider going into this video. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started by talking about shampoo, conditioner, what you do in the shower, all of that. I think the Perfect Hair Day shampoo and conditioner are probably the best sellers, or at least the most known products from this brand. And as I said in the intro, these really do extend the time you can go between sh uh, shampooing and conditioning. It's really weird for me because I'm the kind of person that I tend to shampoo and condition every other day and I know it's too much and I don't like to do it and I know that it dries out my hair 
And when I start using products like this or the other one, I can go longer in between. I don't know quite how they do it. I know that Living Proof emphasizes this healthy hair molecule that they've developed. I really think they're actually onto something with that. I really do think that this is a brand that even though your hair won't, again, look as smooth as a silicone filled shampoo and conditioner might leave it, it really does get more healthy as you continue to use these. Which is why this kit, which I reviewed a year ago, two years ago on my channel, is something that I come back to time and time again. This is so helpful for when my hair is in a wretched state. So this set retails for $29 and it comes with the travel sizes of the shampoo and conditioner as well as the mask treatment. The reason I buy this instead of the shampoo and conditioner is because with my really fine hair, these products don't kind of lift my hair as much, but they do seem to really, really repair it. Anytime my hair is kind of in this rough state, I will buy this, and by the time I'm done with it, which I'd say it lasts me about a month, my hair is just in a better state and it can stay not needing these products for probably a couple more months maybe even six months, a long time of me going back to using those silicone products and you know things that maybe aren't the best for my hair but I just kind of like. So that is something I wanna stress with the Restore line, especially the shampoo and conditioner, is that I don't think that it will give you, if you have fine hair like mine, I don't think it will give you the same lift as a lot of the volumizing shampoos and conditioners, but if you have fine hair, that's the kind that can get damaged the most easily. So something like this, especially these travel kits like I like to buy, can be really helpful. All right, let's get into some of my personal favorite low maintenance hair care products. So I wanna first talk about the In Shower Styler. This is something that I've kind of stopped using because it's for air dried styles. And to be honest with you, since I bought my Dry Bar Buttercup, I actually, I kind of like blow drying my hair now. It's very strange, very strange, but I didn't for years and years and years. And this is something that works so well if you do air dry your hair. I've noticed that sometimes if you come out of the shower and just let your hair naturally dry, it can kind of get these weird little kinks in it. So what you do with this is you put it on at the end of shampoo and conditioner. You just kind of put into your hair and then rinse quickly, like not a heavy, intense wash out, but just rinse, just lightly rinse. You're gonna leave a little bit of the product in just naturally. And it seems to just smooth out the hair, make it look better. And in fact, one thing I really like to do with this is just put my hair into braids when I get out of the shower, let it dry, and then take it out and my hair looks quite intentionally styled with practically no effort whatsoever. It's a dream world, you know? So again, if you're very low maintenance, this is amazing, but there's one other product I'd recommend in conjunction with that, and that's something I'm still using, and that is the Fresh Cut Split In Mender. This is amazing. I started using this product earlier in this year, and I've noticed that when I go to trim my ends, they look better. Like the, the promise with Living Proof is that it seals your ends. I don't know if that's really true. That's a pretty intense claim. But at the same time, I have seen my hair actually growing and looking better. It's kind of bizarre for me because I did used to have waist length hair a long time ago when I was probably 19. And uh, I lost that ability to keep my hair at that length. Just too much bleach, too much color, too much messing with my own hair. This is probably the longest it's been since that time. And I really do attribute this to helping my hair to stay so healthy. And what I like so much is that you can still use this with you know, your air drying, or you can use this with the blow drying products. Whatever you do, you are still adding in an extra layer of protection to your hair. This is one of my favorite products from Living Proof. Uh, and I guess maybe I'll talk about this next. This is something that's new to me. I bought this, I bought the, I bought the, uh, I bought something from Ulta and this came with it. I think it was the uh, hairspray. But so this is new to me and this is the Nightcap Overnight Protector. I do think, Perfector, I do think I'm gonna buy the full size of this. This is also a great repair product. You put this on at night, you go to sleep, it doesn't transfer to your pillows and that's with me sitting here with temporary semi-permanent red dye on my hair. Did not transfer to my pillow in spite of having this in it. You wash it out in the morning and your hair really does look healthier. Like oh, everything I'm telling you right now is just ways to keep your hair healthy even if you are prone to doing a lot with your hair. And this, for me, this is something I'm gonna buy. Again, I've only been using this for probably around a month, but I'm already impressed with it. And mad at Sephora for never restocking this during the 20% off sale. 
Yeah, I was watching you, Sephora. Thanks. I guess I'll just mention these real quickly, just so you guys know about them. One is the No Frizz Nourishing Oil. This is an oil that is really nice to use on your ends as well. However, I like the Verb Oil, the Verb Ghost Oil better, so I probably won't buy this. This is another sample that I got. It's a good product though, and I suspect that if you have a little bit of thicker hair than I do, you might like this more than I did. I didn't hate it, I just will stick with the Verb one. And then also the Restore Perfecting Spray. This is, this is the type of product that I use very often. It's just a spray-in, leave-in conditioner. But again, this is that type of product where I've tried many, many similar products and I didn't really see this being as groundbreaking as some of the other products that I'm talking about. Just wanted to mention them since I have tried those. And then let's talk about the Full Dry Volume Blast and the Dry Shampoo. So this is another of my absolute favorite products from Living Proof. I just talked about this in the Alta Sale video. They, they put on this bottle, actually cleans hair, eliminates oil, sweat, and odor. I agree. And I rarely agree with that in a dry shampoo. This is, I, I think this is the best dry shampoo that I've ever tried. It genuinely leaves your hair feeling clean. Now it can leave a little bit of a white cast, but not too terrible. I think with some of the worst offenders there, maybe not your mother's, I think that was a bad one. But this is fantastic, absolutely amazing product. And I've realized that I like to use this along with the full dry volume blast. These kind of products have confused me for years. I tried the Orabe version when it was when everybody was talking about it maybe two years ago and I didn't get it and I didn't get this for the longest time but I finally realized that what works for me is to use the dry shampoo first kind of make my hair already a little cleaner and then go in with this because if I use this on its own my hair just kind of ends up feeling greasy and I don't like that feeling. It's almost counterintuitive to use some kind of a volumizing product but then your hair feels greasy and heavy, just ick. But the combination works. Now, it's not necessary, in my personal opinion. If you're a real low maintenance person, you can just use, you know, the in shower styler and then dry shampoo and you're good to go. But if you want to elevate it just a little bit, I will say this gives you extra volume. Is I feel like I do need to keep scrunching my hair if I use it though. That's what I actually did today. I used this combination, so that's why my hair looks a little more full, but it'll still, it'll still fall a bit. I think what I'm trying to say with this is that this is not my favorite product from Living Proof because this product is not my favorite from any brand. It's just not my favorite styling product. Okay, so before we move into the like more intense hairstyles, I wanna say, a little bit about the TBD product. This is a very, very versatile product and that's why I love it so much. I kind of feel like a lot of people don't know about this or don't talk about it and I think it's really something that should be mentioned much more. So the TBD in this name stands for Tame Blowout Deconstruct and there's three different ways you can use this. If you want to tame frizzies or if you get the little flyaways, which I do get, I will put a little bit of this into my hands and then just kind of real lightly spread it onto my hair so that I don't have that problem with frizz. Now, all that said, my favorite anti-frizz product is Redken's Smooth Dismiss because it actually comes in a level that works best for my hair. So I don't depend on this solely for that purpose, but it's convenient. I like that I can just take one product with me if I'm traveling and everything can be taken care of. You can also use this for a blowout. You put it in your hair in kind of a little bit of a thicker quantity and then blow dry and your hair will have more volume, just like any kind of volumizing cream. Or you can deconstruct and you kind of get a little bit of an in-between of using a cream or a full dry volume blast type of product. Just put it into your hair and then scrunch your hair up and it does add volume. So I just, I think this is a really unique product. Again, it's one that not a lot of people know about and I don't know why because it is quite special. I think that what makes this different is the texture is a little runnier and I guess that's what's giving you a little more control as opposed to those thicker creams where you know you have no choice but to blow dry your hair or your hair is going to be really a weird texture. So I like it. I do think that one is an underrated product. Okay, so let's get into some of the more styling products, the kind of products that you use before you blow dry your hair or use any hair tools. The system that I have found works best for me is to use one of these styling creams, rub it through my hands, and then kind of just rub it all, all throughout my hair, starting under, that works better for me. Uh, and then use some kind of a heat protection spray so that I make sure I'm not damaging my hair, because if you haven't noticed throughout this video, that's a big concern for me. 
Now, Living Proof has a bunch of different options for the cream you could choose. I think the most popular is probably the 5-in-1 styling treatment, and I do understand why. With it being 5-in-1, it claims to deliver smoothness, volume, conditioning, strength, and polish, all while providing UV protection, it's got their healthy hair molecule, their thickening molecule. So it's kind of the situation of, well, if it kind of does everything all in one, why would you need anything else? And I'm inclined to agree, I think that it really does do everything, but if you're looking for slightly different effects, there are some other products. The Full Thickening Cream, I think I actually like this more than the 5-in-1 Styling Treatment just because I do have fine hair, and this does give me more volume, it really does. On the other hand, if what you're looking for is something to make your style last longer, maybe if you use a curling iron or a straightener, something like the Prime Style Extender might be better. This claims to lock in your style for longer, and it really does. This is one of those products where you put this in your hair, you style your hair, and then you can wear it all day, go to sleep, wake up the next day, and it still looks nice, whereas the other products, it looks nice, but not as nice. And then the fourth one, because I have to be excess and try everything, we know that. The No Frizz Nourishing Styling Cream, I really have a feeling that this is going to be a lot better on thicker hair than mine. Again, that's generally the idea behind the No Frizz line, so for me, it's a little heavy. But this one does claim to block humidity, and a lot of people seem to swear by it, so if you have thicker hair, you might like this much more than I did. It's just this odd situation of between these three, then you gotta, figure out how specific your needs are. There's one other product that's kind of new to me, but I actually really like it. It's called their Timeless Plumping Mousse. This actually gives me a lot of volume. It claims on it that it gives you three times fuller hair. That's a very strong claim, but I actually, I kind of agree. This is an odd product though. Maybe if some people are more used to mousse, maybe it's not that odd, but I am not a daily mousse user. So what you have to do with this is you shake it and then you spray out the mousse. And honestly, I think it's quite fun to use. I do think that you have to be careful not to go overboard. Maybe I only go overboard because I think it's so fun to use. But you basically rub this through your hands and then smooth it through your hair, blow dry, and it's an amazing amount of volume, more so than the full styling cream. But it really is a fine line, you can overdo it very easily and then your hair will get really heavy and then it gets really weighed down and does the opposite. So it's a bit of a learning curve with this one, I must confess. Still I like it, I will repurchase this because for me one of my, you know, what I'm looking for in a product is volume, and boy does this deliver. I already mentioned this, but the Restore Instant Protection Spray is also really nice. It is not too heavy on the hair, although it can be if you go overboard. That's really something I think I'm saying with every one of these styling products, is it's a fine line between getting results from the product and overdoing it. So maybe expect a learning curve with any of these, at least if you're at the hair care level that I'm at. But this is a really good product. It is definitely something that I trust to keep my hair safe. A couple styling products that didn't work out for me personally, but probably will for other people. Actually, I've got a lot here. So the blowout is fine. It does a lot for your hair, but it is very heavy on my hair type. I have a feeling that blowout will work better on people with thicker or more coarse hair. Same deal with the Restore Smooth Blowout Concentrate. These are trial sizes that I got where I won't buy the full size. Even though I feel like I can see there being potential, I just gather that this is not for thinner hair. And both of them for that same reason of they weigh my hair down rather than lift it. Then we have two that I bought in full sizes and I don't like. The Texture Mist, I, I don't like this at all. Ugh. This says it's for beachy styles, which I thought sounded great, but I should have read between the lines and realized that means that it's similar to, or maybe even is, a sea salt spray. It is definitely the same exact effect as putting a sea salt spray in your hair, so if you like that, that may be great for you. For me, it makes my hair instantly crunchy and I can't stand it. I just want to wash it out the second I put this in, so not for my really fine hair. And this amp too, I... This is my fault. Why did I not read the description? For somebody who claims to, you know, have all these degrees and be intelligent, 
Why would you buy something without reading the description? I don't know. This really does give absurd amounts of volume into the hair. It's this thick paste. Problem is, it's for short hair. And it says that on the website, it says it's for pixie cuts. You're supposed to, you know, take it, just rub it all through the roots of your hair, and then your pixie cut will look amazing. Yeah, so it doesn't work for me. So, you know, that's a fail that I can't blame Living Proof for. Clearly, I can only blame myself. And then we are finally to the end of this grand video. I want to finish off with these hairsprays. I am not a huge hairspray person. In fact, I don't like hairspray. But I will use it if I've actually gone through the effort to style my hair. So for example, I had my hair in that crimp style. And I ended up relying on the bodybuilder, which did its job. But I still think I prefer the Flex Shaping Hairspray. This is one of those hairsprays where you can actually brush your hair even if you've used this. And that for me is a prerequisite. I'm not going to like a hairspray if it leaves my hair super crunchy for the same reason I dislike the texture mist. I can't stand that feeling. So this is actually a hairspray that I don't hate, which is miraculous. And the same deal for the Bodybuilder. This is one of their newest products and it has this customizable nozzle. So you can turn it to giving you less body or more body. I don't know if I love this product. I don't hate it, but you're not really getting, you know, variations in the product. By turning the nozzle, you're just getting a different amount sprayed onto your hair. So if you just kind of want to add in a little bit of hairspray, you turn it to less body and it does dispense a smaller amount. If you need more, you turn it to high. I think it's an interesting idea and I think maybe for people who are, you know, able to sit here and tell you all the minute differences in hairsprays, maybe they could speak a little more on how unique this is, but to me, I'm just kind of like, yeah, I'm probably just going to reach for this one because it does what I need it to without over crunching my hair. But again, I think both are good and again, both are more for people who like hairspray. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you did find this video helpful. And if you did, please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, YouTube.